back, Killer Clan. Change of scenery. Welcome to the Ramada Inn in Fresno, California. And why am I at the Ramada, you ask? Because I'm traveling around California. I needed a place to stay for a few days, so Ramada Inn for the win. Kind of rhymes. But this video is by no means a speed challenge or a capacity challenge. This is a video of things that I can't get back home on the East Coast. Back there, I got Carl's Jr. We don't have Carl's Jr. We have Hardee's. But the closest Hardee's me. It's two and a half hours away. Now, I got five of their thick burgers because that's all the ones they have on the menu. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it was almost $60 worth. Let's try some thick burgers from Carl's Jr. So like I said, I got all five of their variations here. There's a regular. I have a list over here. There's the uh, the Smokehouse, the original Angus, guacamole bacon, the jalapeno Angus, and then there's a double cheese bacon Angus over here. So we're just gonna go ahead and dig into these things. This here looks like uh, this looks like the original right here. It's a good burger, kind of reminds me of a Whopper. It's got that flame broiled taste. I'm gonna say this is like a smokehouse variation because it has um, barbecue sauce in it. works out I'm gonna have a uh, in and out burger challenge before I leave California it's pretty good I said these things actually are pretty good This one here. <clears throat> Here's the original here. I had to smokehouse first. This is the original. Lettuce, tomato, and onion. Cheese. Ketchup, mustard. I will admit it's a, it's a very good burger. I know that one of these five has 810 calories. If I was a guess, I would say it's either the double or the guacamole. Tomatoes, crisp. The lady knew these were messy, she gave me a ton of napkins. I think it's not that good, is it? I also uh, got a vanilla shade to go with it.
Comment below if you're team vanilla or team something else. I like straight old vanilla. Alright, this one here. This looks like the double bacon here. I'll tell you what, this thing is actually pretty weighty. If I was to guess, all joking aside, I would say it's close to a pound. At least three quarters. A good burger though. The proximity of this hotel to restaurants, 500 feet in and out, 500 feet that way, McDonald's, 500 feet that way, Carl's Jr. <laughs> McDonald's literally is. I open up the window, there it's arches. <laughs> I do have to give him the lesson of bacon. We have to, we have to talk Call me tender and juicy. <laughs> this one here is good, but it's um, it's awful dry. It's got mayonnaise on it. Me, it just seems a little dry. So here's the uh, jalapeno. A little spicy. <clears throat> this one here's a guacamole. Those are whole jalapenos too, with the uh, seeds and stuff intact, so 
Claro, mein Gott. This is the uh, guacamole. Bird here, pop the hood and show you that. Guacamole on it. Bacon, lettuce, onions. These things are just eating, they look really big, but the meat's just right there at the top. Now if you're a guacamole fan, this will be your thing. If you're not, it's not going to be. It's heavy on the guac. Guacamole has a very distinct taste. So if it's not your thing, this won't be your burger. I can remember when they started offering like guacamole like at Subway and stuff. I was putting that on everything. Yeah, it was probably like three and a half, four pounds. Things were pretty big. There you have it. The uh, first time I've ever had Carl's Jr. I mean, it's pretty much the same as Hardee's, but <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had Hardee's. But they were good. I know this was something a little bit different than what you're used to, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little uh, review style five Angus Burger challenge there. I even got some fries here to enjoy for after. If they're cold, that's, I probably won't even eat them. But if you did like this video, hit that like button, share it, subscribe if you haven't, it's free. I don't even charge you.